but then one of the drivers found it 20 feet underwater. I thought, how am I gonna walk? This is, I never not had my leg, so what am I gonna do without it? And they came out. It was absolutely amazing. They were the most gracious people. The leg is made of titanium and carbon fiber. It's worth about $20,000. Heavy rain, gusty winds, frequent lightning. That's what the Miami Valley was dealing with earlier on today. Since then, conditions have improved quite a bit. Still a few downpours are out there, one of which is just to the west and southwest of Mercer County and northwestern Dark County. There's a pocket of that heavy rain that's moving out of the Portland area. A little bit further off to the east, there's a downpour in northeastern Shelby County, working towards Logan County, a little bit north of Bell Fountain, closer up towards Indian Lake. We'll still have the chance for a passing shower round for the next few hours at least. By around 3, 4 o'clock in the morning, we will be looking at drier weather as this last little batch of showers is going to skim on through. What will replace that is going to be lowering humidity and gradually decreasing clouds. Temperatures have cooled off since earlier today. We actually hit the low 90s again. Yesterday we hit 91, today 92. And since then, we've dropped down to about 72 in the city of Dayton. We're at 70 in Bell Fountain, 72 in Mont Canada. Winds have shifted out of the north and west, so we'll continue to see that gradual drop in temperatures and humidity through the night, and we'll fall eventually into the 60s, which we see right now up in Wisconsin. Talking about 90-degree days, as I mentioned, we hit 92 today. That makes 17 days for the month so far that we've hit 90. We had five in the month of June, so that means total 22 days so far this year. Last year, in 2019, we had 29 days for the entire year. Most of them were in July, and you can see we've already had six more days in this past month in comparison to one year ago. It does appear that if we continue on this trend, we're certainly going to get well past that 29 days of 2019. Our temperature trend over the next five days doesn't really look like we have many opportunities to hit 90. Tomorrow will be near normal, 85 degrees. Wednesday will get to the upper 80s. And while very warm and above average, the humidity is going to be a bit lower than we've seen recently. So it shouldn't be too uncomfortable. And then we're going to fall back into the 80s as we get through the end of the week. So here's future cash showing you those spotty showers working through in the middle of the night. And then by tomorrow morning, we have a mainly clear sky. There might be some pockets of patchy fog, but most of us should be mostly sunny to start tomorrow. And we'll stay mostly sunny through the day. Wednesday, we wake up dry. Once again, through about dinner time, we'll stay quiet. It's around 6, 7 o'clock that a few spotty showers may return across the north. So overall, yard work forecast for the next couple of days. Great for you, Tuesday and Wednesday. Keep in mind, Wednesday is going to be that hotter day as we get to those upper 80s. So earlier in the day, doing the yard work is a better idea. Thursday, though, there is the potential for some showers and thunderstorms. And that's going to be generally along and south of Interstate 70. And that comes comes in with another front that's going to take our temperatures back down into those lower 80s for Friday and Saturday. An isolated pop-up perhaps on Friday. We should be dry Saturday, but by Saturday night into Sunday, we have some heavy rain and storms that will turn to the Miami Valley. Tomorrow morning, meteorologist Jesse Mag is up with you at 425, and he'll be talking about that threat for rain moving in for the weekend. This means it's this house on fire. That 911 caller says he saw a man walking out of this burning home with a gas can in his hand. What else neighbors say is normally in this house.